It is said that taking a turn while drifting results in a faster and more efficient turn than steering normally. But is this true? To test it, the Mythbusters invited Conrad Grunewald, a 10-time world drift champion, to teach them how to drift so they could carry out the experiments. After trying again and again, Jamie managed to pull off a proper drift, reaching an acceptable level to handle the test. When it was Adam's turn to learn, he picked up the technique quickly and was able to control the car spectacularly as if he had done it before. He was able to perform long and smooth drifts. Then it was time to put what they had learned to the test. To start, they set up a small 90 degree turn. Adam completed it in 4 seconds, both drifting and driving normally, but Jamie failed to drift and damaged the car. Then they set up a 180 degree turn. The drift turned out to be even slower. For the final test, they simulated a track with urban traffic. Jamie did three laps steering normally, and his times were two minutes, one minute 56 seconds, and one minute 54 seconds. Adam completed the laps drifting, but had to try six times to get his best lap. The perfect lap for him clocking in at 1 minute and 54 seconds, matching Jamie's best mark. They prove that drifting is very exciting and spectacular, but it really isn't efficient for saving time. 